So this is why networking sometimes doesn't work, part two, and that is not following up. When you go to a networking event, you hopefully are getting some contact information as to where you can contact these other people outside of the event. And typically you collect like a lot of contact information or maybe just a little bit. And the main mistake people make here is the not following up. So whether this is a virtual or an in-person event, it can be very tempting to meet like however many people, 10, 20, 5, you know, depending on the duration of the event and what it's about and maybe have these little conversations with some people there and then not not connect with them outside of that networking event. So you go to networking events to meet people, but if you don't take any of those relationships to a deep deeper level and at least have a coffee chat or like see how maybe you could help the other person, then it was basically a waste of your time. And one of the reasons this can get so hard for people is when we go to school, like go to high school, go to college, you're kind of in the same group of people like for a while and so you kind of get to know those people because they're in all of your classes so you're like always consistently seeing them like regardless of if you want to or not now with networking events when you're an adult you have to be deliberate and make the time outside of the event to connect back with these people and have those deeper conversations so that you know, is this somebody who would be a client? Do I need their services? Is there some kind of collaboration we can do together? And five minutes where you talk about the weather in your hometown or like what color pen you have or whatever the icebreaker was and your business, that's not really enough time to get to know somebody to see if like any kind of collaboration or business relationship even makes sense. So having those deeper conversations requires that you follow up and you could waste years and years and years going to networking events and not following up and it might never dawn on you to follow up if nobody ever told you that you should be following up because everybody just would like assume you already know that so even if you do some follow up you should ask yourself like am i following up enough so you might go to a networking event, you might meet people there and you're like, I'm not sure that like any of these people can help me at all, but you should still set up a coffee chat with at least one other person you meet. Even if the only reason you set up that coffee chat is to get their perspective on something just because it gives you a different worldview and like a different they have different life experiences, so they can give you a different perspective on things. So even if nothing like bigger comes out of that, still just set up the coffee chat with someone. It doesn't have to be long. You don't have to go for hours. You know, if you're comfortable just even doing 20 minutes, if that's what fits into your day. Um, even just reconnecting on social media and you know finding more about what they do so follow up otherwise why did you even go i hope that helps